Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So I just wanted to make a quick video going over how you can easily adjust the aspect of footage captured on your Osmo Action 6. One of the new features of the Osmo Action 6 is that we can film in a perfectly square aspect ratio that allows us to go in and set our own crop later on. And that can be important because you might be uploading to different platforms you may need some vertical content. You may need some horizontal content. Filming in a square aspect allows you to capture once, and then you can crop it to the appropriate aspect depending on what you're uploading it to. And not only that, you get to decide where the crop is, and I'll kind of explain that here in a minute. Now, for some people, if you're brand new to action cameras, brand new to editing, you might be a little reluctant to use that feature just because you're not quite sure how to crop it later on. And it's actually very simple to do. DJI has all the tools needed built right into the DJI Mimo app. In fact, while you're transferring the content over, it can actually do the cropping for you. So I've gone ahead and I've powered on my camera and now we're gonna launch the DJI Mimo app and it should prompt us to connect right away. And there it is there. So when we connect to the Osmo Action 6, it's going to go right into the gallery and read all the content stored on the memory card. And there we are. Now, before we get into how to crop it, I'm gonna show you how to set that square aspect in case you're not quite sure. What we're gonna do is tap on the bottom there to bring up all our settings. That icon in the middle, that's where we can set our aspect. By default, it's going to be set to default, but we're gonna choose custom. And now you can see we're filming in a square aspect. Now by default, it's going to have these crop marks. The corners are gonna be blacked out. And the reason it's like that is that it can help you line up shots for both horizontal and vertical. It makes it a little bit easier to see what the framing is going to be like. Now you can turn that off. There's a button there on the side. If we double tap it, those crop marks go away and now it's just a perfect square. Now, if you are recording with those crop marks, that is actually how the video will be saved on the memory card it's gonna actually have those square corners. Now, the first way in which you can automatically crop is by doing a batch import. So I'm gonna tap on this icon there at the top. That's going to allow us to select multiple files. And you can see here, each one is labeled in its aspect. So this one here is a one by one, it's square. This one here is a one by one, and this one here is a one by one. So if I select all three of those, you can see we get this option here and it's asking us what aspect we want to export them as. So if I tap there, we can download them in the original format. So it's just gonna download as a square aspect. We can set it as nine by 16, 16 by nine, three by four, or four by three. So if I tap nine by 16, so all these videos that I'm downloading now are gonna be automatically cropped to a nine by 16. So now I don't have to go in and do any other cropping. They're completely ready to use. Now, if I bring up my gallery here, you can see there are the three videos that we just exported and they're all now in a vertical format. So now we can just upload them directly to a platform that supports vertical content. It did it all automatically. We didn't actually have to go in and do anything. It just did the crop as we downloaded. But now say we wanna make an edit in horizontal because we're gonna be uploading it to YouTube as a long form video. Again, we can go back in, but this time we can select a 16 by nine. And again, it will export them all automatically at a 16 by nine. But we can also do it manually. And the nice thing about doing it manually is you can set where you want the crop to be. So for example, I'm gonna bring up one of those square aspect videos. Now, if we tap on aspect ratio, you can see it gives us all the different aspects there at the bottom. So we can choose whether we want a 16 by nine, a nine by 16, four by three, three by four, or if we want to again, leave it as a square. But the nice thing about doing it manually is say we've selected a 16 by nine, we can adjust where it's going to be cropped. And this is the nice thing about shooting in a square aspect is that you get to adjust the crop later on. Normally when you're filming with an action camera, even if you're filming in an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, the camera basically does the crop for you all on camera which works just fine, but the problem is you don't get to decide where the crop is. Whereas doing it manually like this, you get to decide whether you want more of the sky in the crop, or in this particular video, we might want more of the falls. 
So that's really the nice thing about doing it manually is we get to decide exactly where the video is going to be cropped. And uh, if you're doing action shots on a mountain bike, that can be really important because you get to decide do you want more of the scenery out in front of you or do you want more of the bike down below you. So I'm going to have maybe the crop there. I'll click on the check mark. So that's now where the crop is going to be and I can just manually export it. So it's really easy to do in the DJI Mimo app. And of course, we've got all the other built-in editing tools right at the bottom. So you can make other adjustments while you're doing it. Now, you may not want to film in a square aspect all the time, but for some scenarios, it can be really handy. So yeah, folks, just a quick little video showing you how to set the aspect ratio when filming in a square aspect on your Osmo Action 6. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.